it's us. Uh. It's time to bring Dusty back and better. It's been a couple weeks since I posted the last video, and the last video was a motorcycle video, and you guys didn't really fuck with it. I've seen that throughout the views. Like, you guys didn't really want to watch it. Or maybe YouTube didn't want me to post it, but the views are down, bro. But anyways, got some card content for you guys, man. We're gonna be upgrading Dusty's fuel system, and uh, in this video, I guess, and probably, probably two videos. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a, a fuel relay and i'm gonna show you guys my my new setup basically um yeah bro it's gonna be nice bro dusty gonna be able to make true i should have enough fuel i should have no issues with with any like i should have no fuel issues this is like i have i should have enough fuel huh to to make a thousand horsepower i ain't gonna lie that's that's too much maybe like 900 horsepower 800 horsepower so yeah man we're gonna talk about that real quick and uh yeah, people staring at me when I'm vlogging. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna get into it. Even though Dusty blown up, I still keep the engine bay pretty damn clean, bro. It's still still clean for a car that's sitting for three months, or has been sitting for three months. All right, don't ask no questions. Just know we about to switch over to the GoPro. Let's get it. All right, man, so hopefully y'all can hear me. So I don't wanna bore you guys out and drag out a video of me just making any lines because I ain't gonna lie, that crap is boring. But uh, I basically already got my um, adjustments for what line I'm going to be building. My dumbass forgot to get the right fitting, so I ordered a fitting literally just right now, uh, a 6 a.m. a 6 a.m. 120 degree fitting. And this is a 90, this 90 is gonna be coming off the fuel, the fuel, the flex fuel sensor that's in the car. Um, yeah. Let's get into it, bruh. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 All right, guys, so here's my first line. Let's see if that could pull out. Nah, that's good. All right, so here's my first line. This is gonna go back to the AEN. I mean, this is gonna go back to the flex fuel sensor and it's gonna get tightened to this. So that goes like that. Nice. So yeah, there was one line. Ain't the prettiest, but it'll do. All right, so I need to remove that flex fuel sensor hopefully you guys can see that probably not because it's dark as hell but it's back there and i need to get that off asap but i'm trying to get this line off right here and that's my goal for today all right man oh almost dropped the tripod but uh i got the line replaced i don't know if you guys can see that back there hopefully i could put like an arrow and y'all can see it really well but uh, the hell, man. But yeah, like I was trying to say, this line is that line that runs into the fuel, the flex fuel sensor. I mean, yeah, the flex fuel sensor. This is an old 6 a line that I had before. Um, the reason why I exchanged this one is because this one was a center feed, and trying to take off the line was a pain in the ass without trying to scratch the manifold. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well just make a whole new line for the for the feed, and that's what I did. So I got a one 120 degree uh, six hand fitting that's going underneath the manifold, goes back up into the flex fuel sensor that has a 90 degree uh, six hand fitting. Um, for the return, kind of can see it right there where that blue line is going to that blue tape. It's going up into the the fuel pressure regulator. And that is also a 6 a.m. line that's going all the way back to the tank. The 6 a.m. fitting, well, the 6 a.m. line goes into the uh, fuel filter that I have in this generalized area. I don't know exactly where it's at. I'll have to look underneath the car to really show you guys. But it's literally by the fuel tank. 
and then from the fuel filter it goes into another six in line that goes into the tank that's you know the return for it the setup is really really simple and it should be efficient it should make you know i should have enough fuel to make a 900 horsepower at the end of the day especially with this 535 Walboro fuel pump that i'm about to install right now oh man it wouldn't be florida if it didn't rain bro like as we speak it is raining boom that's the setup that's the setup right there so i'm gonna have to disconnect this line disconnect the evap Disconnect this. Evap is, I mean, this line should just pop off. Y'all know what's going on. And so do I. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry if the video is like all over the place. I'm just trying to get this thing done before it starts to pour again. And I know the video has just been like me with a GoPro, me without the GoPro. But anyways, let me just get into it. Here's the fuel pump. Fuel pump is in. Walboro 550, no, Walboro 535. Um, got this little bulkhead fitting that I'm using to pull the wires up. I had to extend the wires. Um, I use these, uh, I don't even know what you call them, but like, I guess connectors or whatever heat shrink there we go that i used before my old wall board <laughs> that i used before on my old setup my old wall burrow wall bro, wall bro whatever it's called the 450 pump i used that before and uh never had any issues with it so this is what i'm talking about those little things right there i kind of can see it when my fingers pointing at it um yeah didn't have no issues so i'm using them again just to extend the wire and now we're about to go put the pump in the car. For some reason, bro, I can't find my, my fuel filter. So I just ordered a new one. This one's just going to be in the car for the time being. And uh, I'm going to swap that out later on. I'm probably going to even include that in the video. But yeah, man, we almost done, bro. I got to do the relay. And that's about it. So let's go get this in the car. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because it's pretty damn simple. Just literally put the pump in the car. The same way you took it out, the same way you put it back in. Well, there's the rain I was talking about. Didn't even get to finish putting the relay in. Well, I didn't get to finish doing anything. I just got the pump inside the fuel tank, and that's about it. If you're thinking of moving to Florida, don't do it. And just like that, sunny again. Nah, but for real, this is a new day, guys. Um, basically done with everything, man. So I believe in a previous clip I showed you guys the new setup on how I have the new feed and the new return. Well, actually the same return. What oh, is it? No, no, this is the new return. Everything here is new. Yeah. So I got a new feed, new return. Um, let me show you guys the relay setup in the back. I had to splice and cut a whole bunch of wires, bro. It was a, it was actually very simple. Um, I'm going to leave a video in the description so you guys can go watch that helped me do the relay install. But yeah, it's a very simple. Red is the positive. Uh, yellow is the power to the to the fuel pump. Black is the ground. Both blacks are the ground. Um, the blue goes to the, the signal on your, on your uh, OEM plug, which is the green wire. And uh, that's pretty much it, bro. I wasn't even talking when I had the freaking GoPro on my helmet, but yeah, we got holy cow again. But this time, it's not my car meet. It's my boy Sean's car meet. Um, boosted happy or boost happy. I keep saying it wrong, but yeah. Um, you guys watched the last video when we was here. 
We're here again, but just a different spot. So we're gonna take a quick look at some cars. It's always some beautiful cars when he throws a meet. So we're gonna check everything out. So I see two car, three cars were in front of me. That's hard as hell right now. Bro, this right here, this blue, immaculate. Sheesh. You like this blue? What if I was to wrap Dusty this color? Would you like that? I would like it. It kind of looks similar. This looks similar? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess. I guess Dusty's a little bit brighter, but I really like this color. Hopefully you guys can hear me with the music, but it's Ipolina, whatever it's called, with the TVs in the back, bro. Damn. Fire, bro. Do you guys see the front license plate on this? What is that? What does that say? Does that say ped? As in like pedophile? Hey, yeah. Sheesh! <laughs> Look at this guys. RX7 bro. Clean as hell. Sheesh. Sheesh. Damn bro. One day we'll have these. One of these on the, on the channel, bro. One day. Well, guys, this is where I'm end off the video, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy Instagram, my underscore got the soda. Check out the RSX one more time. And yeah, bro, your boy's out. Peace. Yeah.